right, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. Today we're gonna to do a review of two uh, different racket coverings, uh, two rubbers, uh, Hurricane Pro 3 Turbo Orange and the Seeger PK50, both from Nitaku. Uh, I wanna assure you I don't get any compensation from Nitaku, so anything positive I say, uh, about these, that's my honest feeling. Anything negative, that, that would be my honest feeling as well. Um, but the truth is, uh, I really like both of these. And um, they are good for slightly different things. And um, I'm gonna give you a general uh, experience that I had with them. And currently, I am using this version of Hurricane. Uh, on my backhand, and uh, I have recommended it to at least a couple players for their forehand, and the Seeger is something I've used and uh, highly recommend for intermediate level players, and uh, they are both really high quality. So let's talk, uh, go ahead and start with Hurricane. Hurricane is one of many versions of Hurricane, and I haven't used hardly any of them other than this. I did use the Hurricane Turbo Blue. Uh, really like the feel and sound of it. It was really my first introduction to um, that really hard top sheet feeling, um, hard sponge. It, it makes a different sound, it makes a different, has a very different feel. And I was surprised that and how hard it was, but I was also surprised at how much I really liked it. The only problem with Turbo Blue was uh, it's it's pretty heavy, and uh, that's also true of the orange, although not quite as bad. The orange is gonna be a little softer. The blue has been described as rock hard. Uh, the orange may give you that impression that it's really that hard uh, if you aren't used to it, but it's, um, if you like that really solid feel of that hard sponge rubber of Hurricane, um, other players have said this is as good as uh, some of the other versions that, are, that you need to boost. I, I'm sure you could boost this rubber. I'm not sure it would be a big payoff on that uh, unless you're really experienced with boosting your rubber. Um, I, don't, I haven't had any problems using it and I didn't really consider boosting it at all. Um, so the Turbo Orange, as well as the Seeger, are really both made for, uh, they're, they're modern table tennis, they're fairly new versions of uh, Nataku rubber that are made for spinning the ball, they're made for the modern game, they're made for looping, and they will not uh, respond to flat hitting very well. I, I mean, I feel like there were times, particularly with the, uh, well, really with both of them, um, when either somebody that was using it or, or me were, would try a flat hit and it's just sort of, it didn't didn't go. I mean, it, it'll go over the, it, it will work. And uh, if you really need to smash one, I'm sure that's, that's possible. But whatever the technology is that uh, is put into them. They're made for spinning. And I um, had a player yesterday who had a 2.0 version of the Seeger, and it was his first time trying it. And the quality of his loops were improved. Uh, nice looping shots, nice high throw, a lot of spin. Um, uh, some of the people that have re looked at the Seeger would say it's, uh, it's good at a lot of things, not great at any. Uh, I'm not sure that's true. Uh, I think it's, it could be a perfect rubber for a lot of people, and in fact, I recommended it for some people for their forehand and backhand. And um, these, let's see, the Hurricane comes in uh, 1.6, 1.8, and 2.0. Now, I use the 1.8 on my backhand, um, kind of splitting the difference on that. Uh, probably could have gone either either direction, more or less. Um, my concern, since I tend to be a little bit more on the defensive side, 2.0 on the backhand didn't seem to make a whole lot of sense for my game. And um, again, always, always trying to keep the 
keep the weight down if possible. Uh, at least for my my loops, when I flip it around and use it on the forehand, uh, it it seems to respond really really well on the 1.8. Um, the only downside to the 2.0, I can imagine, would be adding a little bit of weight to your racket if that's not an issue for you. Uh, I, I think it would be really, really excellent. It certainly has a great feel, gives you a ton of spin. Um, like I said, with the 1.8, you get a lot of underspin on serves and pushes and those and chops, a anything. Uh, and the control is good. I know you hear a lot of that, the spin, the speed, and all that's good. And it has good control. Um, in this case, uh, I'm using it on a carbon blade and 1.8, it, it, at least for me, uh, I had no, no trouble controlling it at all. Both of these rubbers are sticky. Both are tacky. And I think the if you're looking at you know, maybe one of one or the other of these. The big difference is the Hurricane is going to have a much harder feel. The um, the Seeger is going to have a much softer feel. In fact, I just recommended this for one of my players to use the Seeger on the backhand and the Hurricane on the forehand. And um, one other word about the thickness on the Hurricane: it does come in the 1.6 could work really, really well for defensive players. Um, because of the hardness, uh, the, the really solid feeling, the, depending on how hard you hit the ball, one, the difference between 1.6 and 1.8 may not make a whole lot of difference. Um, you wouldn't, it's not a whole lot anyway, but um, you know, even if you never would have considered using something like 1.6, you might be surprised that it it would be functional for a lot of players even in that uh, relatively thin um, thickness of the, of the sponge. Um, like I said, I, I recommend both of them. One of the criticisms has, has been that um, sometimes they lose their tackiness. Uh, two words on that. Um, yeah, they probably are gonna not be quite as tacky I mean, after a month of use as when they came out of the package and losing a little bit of tackiness may not be a big deal. Really shouldn't, shouldn't affect the rubber that much. But if you will keep dust off of it and use a sticky um, racket covering, um, they'll, they'll stay sticky for a lot longer than you'd think. But you have to be persistent and keep the dust off every time you play. And those racket coverings really do seem to, to maintain the stickiness a lot longer. And not, not like brand new, but more than enough. Uh, in fact, uh, with both of those, after a good bit of play, the ball can, you can still pick up a ball um, off the table with just the stickiness of the, of the paddle. So, um, or of the rubber. Okay, so got Hurricane. Pro 3 Turbo Orange, uh, I definitely give that a thumbs up. Uh, five stars on that. If you don't like the real hard feeling of that and you like something that really is still made for the modern game, that's got a, it's gonna be a little bit bouncier, a little softer, and uh, maybe slightly less sticky, the Seeger PK50 uh, I think is a excellent excellent rubber for intermediate level players and for um, really all types of players and if it suits your game if uh, you have sort of a all-around top spin uh, controlled top spin attack some uh, that that's probably ideal for you so hope you enjoyed this video hope uh, appreciate your comments send send them to me uh, anything I get I will consider making a video about. Appreciate it. Thanks.